Stanford here, the Rebel Networker, and I'm here in Bangalore in India, and I'm with Bajal Palmer. Um, I met Bajal last night actually, and uh, there was something really powerful about it. I walked into a, a restaurant, it was an, um, a pirate themed pirate restaurant, theme restaurant right. uh, called the Black Pearl, if I'm correct. That's correct yeah. And uh, it was interesting because the, the minute I walked in, uh, the first person who walked up to me was you. And within seconds, he had me engaged in a, an amazing conversation actually. Um, now, I know you're a very successful businessman. You run an outsourced business with uh, 400 employees. That's correct. Um, but what I'd love you to do to, is give me your secrets about just connecting with someone you've never met, uh, and particularly moving into a new country and how somebody can connect and, and just get relationships. So I think you're going to be good at this. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of background. Uh, we had to leave the United States in uh, 2010, and we're from the UK, but we decided to do something a little bit uh, rebellious and we kind of sold everything, we packed our bags and we came to India. Now, you can probably tell I am Indian by descent, but we actually didn't know anybody in India. We actually knew one person um, for all intents and purposes. Uh, so we kind of came with four bags, myself, my wife, my two kids, we landed in Delhi. And for the first three months, we kind of traveled around India to kind of get a feel of India and where we might want to stay. At that time, we didn't even know that we're actually going to be living in India. And we kind of came through Bangalore, we liked the climate, we met some good people, and we came back to Bangalore. Now, within about a matter of kind of four to five weeks, I, I used a lot of the social media platforms to build a network. And predominantly I used Meetup, so meetup.com. And I just kind of looked for interest groups that I, I thought I could add value to. Now, I didn't have a business or anything to really sell people here or even to offer people here because most of my business was in the US, our staff were in the Philippines. So I just kind of wanted to meet people. And something I guess I just do naturally is like I look to add value to people. And you know, uh, back in the kind of two, between 2000 and 2010, you know, um, I was one of those life coaches that never charged money. And during that time, I actually struggled as an, uh, as an entrepreneur. Mm. But this time, I was able to kind of use it to my advantage because I kind of had learned a few things by then. So now what I do is you know, when I meet people for the first time, the first thing I, you know, I kind of got this tip from a friend of mine, uh, his name is Ian Faria, a, a great coach. He said, you know, uh, when you meet people, add value. And when he told me that, I recognize it's something I do naturally. Um, but now I've almost turned into an art form, which is you know, never to go to somebody and, and think, okay, how do I get them to buy my stuff, or whatever. It's just go with an attitude of, of how do I add value. If, once, we, once we depart from this conversation, if this is the first time I've met you, if I know, if I've given you something of value, then you probably remember me. Especially if it's a value where it can actually benefit your life. Mm -hmm. And if you kind of treat every new contact with that same approach, then I believe it's going to come back to you. And then they say, you know, good things come around. And, you know, don't go with the expectation of, you know, I, I want to sell them my, my trinket, my service, whatever, but just, I want to add value to your life. So when you leave here, I've given you something that, that no one will ever take away. And when you combine that with the power of social media and the power of both online branding and offline branding, I believe you can pretty much drop me in any part of the world now and within a matter of weeks I can have a social network around me which will support me not only in my lifestyle but also in my business work as well. So to sum that up, add value add to value. everyone you meet on yeah. and offline oh, yeah. uh, and you particularly advise the forum of Meetup. Absolutely. Yeah, meetup, doing and, you know, and I think you know, regional areas may have their own form of Meetup mm -hmm. but Meetup is fairly global these days. Mm -hmm. But yes, absolutely. Brilliant, some great tips there. Thank you, my friend. And uh, I think I actually prefer you without the pirate hat on because I can recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> so, take it easy. Thanks, Thank you.